In the early 13th century, the first ever glasses were made in Italy. The Romans discovered they could use glasses to see miniature and small things. With primitive lenses and wooden or leather frames, Romans were the first ones to use the glasses in recorded history. Later in the 17th century, as the technology improved, the glasses were then made hands-free and were supported by the ears. The most famous hand-free glasses ever made in history were Martin's margins. The inventor of the glasses was Benjamin Martin. Then in the 18th century, to this very day, glasses became a trend and apart from the necessity, they are also seen as a symbol of fashion. You may be wondering, how did Apple come into the picture of making glasses? Well, technology since the dot-com boom has been very fast-paced, and Apple came out with not just glasses, but AR glasses. So cool, isn't it? Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from How It's Made. In this video, today we take an in-detail look at how the Apple glasses are made. Before we get into more details, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more such exciting content. That being said, let's get into it. How Apple Started a trillion dollar worth Apple Inc. today is a behemoth in the technology market. Having dominated the phone market with their innovative products, today they have a loyal following and have been a go-to choice for people across the globe. The company was founded in 1976 by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak and since then have come very far. Launch Always dabbling and being innovative, it didn't take long for Apple to think of a futuristic idea like Apple Glasses. Having been in the news for a while now, Apple has people speculating when exactly will the Apple AR glasses be released. The headlines are saying that the date has been pushed until 2023, but now there has been a leak from a trusted source that has shown how the new AR headset known as Apple Glasses will potentially look like. Raw Material The leading prototype is said to have a look that could potentially look like a normal pair of glasses. The glasses will be manufactured in black and white plastic. There are rumors that plastic could be replaced with a premium material like aluminum or some other good component. Third chance is Apple will offer different kinds of frames. It's said that Apple is going to use a hybrid Fresnel lens design. It's going to stack three lenses for one eye. The material used for this will be lightweight plastic. A hybrid Fresnel design was invented 200 years ago. These lenses focus on lighthouse beams. They typically weigh about 300 to 400 grams, but Apple is planning to make them weigh 100 to 200 grams. Features Apple glasses are going to be one of their best products to date. The glasses will feature augmented reality with an ultra-high resolution screen and also optical sub-assembly that will adjust your poor vision. It could give us a potential cinematic experience. In short, a world inside the world. You'll be able to synchronize your glasses with your iPhone and other Apple products. The glasses will allow you to read the text, check your emails. Stuck on your way to the destination? Then you can also use maps on your glasses and find your way you might be able to also play AR games. A piece of good news has come for people who have poor eyesight and wear normal glasses. Apple glasses will use optical sub-assembly and adjust the vision of your eye accordingly. There are rumors Apple has patented this technology. Another patent has made it to the headlines that you will also be able to change the background. It could change a potential solid color background to anything you like. It'll format the images on your camera, detect various colors, and make your virtual content more comfortable to the eye. A LiDAR sensor will be on the right side of the glasses. The LiDAR sensor will do a 3D map of the environment by using the distance. Through it, you can scan your objects or anything else easily. With the sensor, the glasses can also detect any kind of gestures done by us. People are saying that the glasses can also have a swappable arm feature. They all will supply a purpose and carry out distinct functions. Apple developers are planning to add the Google Street View feature. In this feature, you'll be able to view any part of the world. Imagine sitting in the comfort of your home and seeing the beach of Maldives. What an exciting feeling it would be. Also, there could be a feature that will help you see better in the dark. Apple also will be using the SoC for the glasses. This chip is not powerful when compared to other products. You will require your iPhone or iPad for the processing feature. They will optimize the SoC for the transmission of data and videos. Also, it will be good for long-lasting battery life and efficient power. It's planning to add more chips for better functioning. We will have to wait and see if we get it or not. The camera attached to the frame will help you record anything you like. How cool it would be to take a picture the minute your eye spots something beautiful. There are certain privacy issues regarding this feature. A lot could go wrong if Apple is not cautious about adding the feature. These are just rumors coming around and nothing is confirmed. One more feature the company is looking to add is the adjustable opacity. This will help you focus on a video or an image. 
it'll automatically adjust the light settings, giving you the perfect view. According to reports, people won't see any sunglasses version of the glasses. The tinted glasses are likely to disrupt the viewing or reading process of the people. The glasses for now are not expected to have any built-in speakers. They will add unnecessary weight to them and ruin the look. Since these glasses will run on battery, there could be stable charging. They could also use a wireless charging case. We'll have to see how they go about it. People are assuming they will at least have an 8-hour battery to survive the day. Design The design is speculated to be sleek and stylish so that people can wear it everywhere. They can be offered in different colors like the rest of the Apple products. They can be equipped with sensors so that they can track every moment of yours. They're going to have a lighter scanner on the right, but no other cameras are specified. They're speculated to have a rectangle frame and for the field view of 0.5 inches in a resolution of 1280 by 960. The design inspiration for the glasses has been taken from Ray-Ban wearfarers. While some are saying it could be like the ones Tim Cook wears, they're also looking to design a Steve Jobs edition version of these glasses. Someone from their sources leaked that the design could feature a bone conduction earpiece. Another possibility is a microphone, a capacitive frame which is used for navigation. There was another patent that mentioned the headphones could be removed from the display. Working A lot of people are wondering how these glasses will work. There are two types of reality, augmented reality and virtual reality. Augmented refers to the modified view of the real world that we live in, whereas virtual reality gives you an engrossing experience of the virtual world. These AR headsets for virtual reality can get addicting. The rumored Apple glasses are leaning towards augmented reality. When in this world, you'll be in touch with your surroundings and will be aware of what's happening. But in the virtual world, you'll be detached from the real one. The fictional world will seem more appealing to you. They're still experimenting with a lot of hardwares and softwares to give the customers the best experience. According to sources, the initial price of the Apple glasses is expected to be $499. The prescription fees will be an add-on. The glasses are going to rely on your iPhones to function so there are fewer chances the cost will increase. When Google came out with similar AR glasses, the price of those was $1,500. It was quite expensive, and they reportedly received a lot of backlash for it. When the Microsoft HoloLens 2 was released, the price tag of it was a whopping $3,500. The costs came from all the electronic things they needed for those AR headsets to run. Since the Apple glasses will be connected to our iPhones, it'll automatically reduce the expenses. People with iPhone 12 and up will be able to use these glasses easily. For the other users, there will be an update but the accessibility will be limited, or other functions may not work on it. Steve Jobs, if he was alive, would have been proud of what became of his legacy. What are your thoughts on the Apple glasses? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Bye!